Hey guys, so one of the questions I get asked the most is how do I get free maps for my Garmin GPS? Uh, and I've addressed it in some of the other blog posts. I have a post on sending tracks and creating tracks and sending them to your GPS and some reviews. But this video will show you step by step how to get the maps and then put them on your device. Now some Garmin units come with maps. I have a Phoenix 5X here and this comes with maps already on it. But if you don't have maps, um, there are plenty of free options. Now I'm going to show you a very specific uh, map that I'm going to put on there. It's really good for hiking and I use it uh, on my units for hiking trails and other points of interest. But there are other options out there and they might have different installation um, you know, steps. Usually on the website where you find the maps, they'll tell you how to install them. But anyway, if you want free maps for your Garmin GPS, here's a nice step-by-step -step on how to do that and, uh, you know, get out on the trail. Don't buy the Garmin ones if you don't have to. This is a lot easier. Hey guys, so the first step is to go to this website, GMAP Tool. Um, there's a lot of different types of topo maps that you can get. These are my favorite hiking ones. Uh, for a few reasons, they have a lot of detail. They're all open street map, which is what OSM means right here. Uh, they also have marine information on there, which is handy to have, kind of cool. And they're most importantly routable. And routable means, uh, you know, you can click on point A and point B and it will um, basically, uh, you know, automatically create a track for you on a trail as opposed to you creating, you know, potentially hundreds of small points to, uh, to create a trail yourself. And what they did is they put all of the region's uh, maps together, which is really handy because on some of the other sites, you can only get a very small subset of maps. So, you know, here you can get big chunks of the country in, in one fell swoop. Now, this only has USA topo. Uh, if you go to the website hikingguy.com, I have links to other sites that have other countries and other types of maps that you can send to uh, your Garmin for free. But for now, um, let me get, let's get South Central because I don't have that on there yet. And if I click on this page, it has uh, a couple screenshots and it shows me the detail level here. You can see the trails and different things that are on there, uh, which is cool. So here's the attachment. I'm gonna download this. It's a pretty big file. So it might take a little while, so let's go ahead and download that. Save file. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is that it's in a 7Z format. And 7Z is a fancy way to do a, an archive or a zip archive, and you'll need a program to open this. But because this website is so great, if you go up here and go on the side to installing maps, click here, there's handy directions for um, Windows and for Mac. I'm on a Mac, so I'll show you how to do it on a Mac. If you're on a Windows, you're just going to have to do your best with these instructions. Um, so while this is downloading, what you're going to want to do is get a, a program to unpack the, the zip file. And here they list one, and this is it. I have a different one that I got off the App Store that I've had um, from before. They all work the same. It'll just unzip it or uncompress it. The other program that you're going to want to get is Garmin uh, Map Manager. And it's a free program from Garmin. And it's right here. You have to agree that you're not going to kill anybody. Yes. And you can download this. And what this does is it allows you to install the free maps on your computer and from there install them onto your um, Garmin device. So let me show you what it looks like after uh, the file has downloaded. Okay, so I finished my download of the uh, map file and I've installed all the other programs that I mentioned. So the 7-zip on Archiver and also the Garmin map install programs. So here's my download. I'm gonna double click on this. This will be different depending on what program you use, but it's basically going to extract all of the maps here. Now, the maps take up uh, a little bit of room, so if you're running out of space on your hard drive, you might want to uh, you know, clear your recycle bin out or give it some room so that it can archive or unarchive all of these maps. All right, so it's almost done here, and when we're done unarchiving, it's gonna give us a file like this. And if we open up the file, it's gonna have a few different uh, 
programs in there. These are the Windows programs, these BAT ones, and then there's this GMAP. Now to install this, we're gonna to wanna to have a Map Manager. So if you look at your applications, if you installed the Garmin ones, there's Garmin Map Install, there's Garmin Map Manager. So what'll happen is if you've installed Map Manager, You bring it up, it'll list all the maps that you have installed on your computer already. And these are other ones that I've installed earlier, uh, and they're all in here. But once this is installed, I'm going to go to my new South Atlantic G map that I got and just double click it. And boom, it says, Do I want to install these? And I'm going to say install. What this is doing is it's copying the maps from the folder here, from this folder, to the Garmin directory on your computer. And there you can see they are in there. Um, and at this point, I can delete these files because I don't need them anymore. Now, once you have them, you can send them right to your device right away, uh, or you can use them in Basecamp. And let me just show you Basecamp real quick. I have a whole blog post on um, creating routes and tracks for Garmin and sending it to your Garmin device on the website. But, uh, you know, if you, if you uh, want to do it, you can check it out. But here you can see if I go up to Maps, there it is, South Atlantic OSM. This is a track that I created earlier that's on there. Uh, and you can see the detail level is pretty good. And if I turn this off, I can also go up here and just go to the default Garmin map. You see that I see nothing. Uh, let me zoom out. You can see this is the default Garmin map. Pretty meh. But then if I go to this free South Atlantic OSM Topo, you can see it's very, very detailed. Uh, and you can also do cool things like search on here. Um, so I could uh, search for Smoky Mountains. So I have addresses, I have trails, there's all different uh, things I can do on here. Outside Drive, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. So pretty cool. These are all features of the free map that you just downloaded, not necessarily Garmin. All right, so once you have your map installed in your computer, let me show you how to install it onto your device. So real quick, you're just going to want to plug your device into the computer and give it a second to register, and you're good to go. All right, now that I have the device plugged in, I'm going to load the second program that we got from Garmin, Garmin Map Install. If I do this, you can see already it sees that my units here, I'm using the eTrex 20 to test this out. It's telling me all my maps won't fit, that's fine. It's pretty cool, it tells me how much storage I have. So you can see this little bar here. Um, and it tells me the maps that I have installed on my computer and which ones I have installed on the device. So what I'm gonna do is let me take, let me click on this. So yeah, that'll fit. See, and it shows you where they go to and I'm gonna hit send maps. So it could take hours. Uh, it's basically sending, you know, a few gigs over this small wire. So if you're in a rush, it's not going to work. You need to do it beforehand, but hopefully you've prepared for it. So let's just say confirm. And now it's going to go through this whole process where it prepares the map data um, and converts it and then sends it. The sending part is the one that takes most time. So this is a good thing to, you know, set in motion and then go do something else and come back and check in periodically on it. So let's do that. I'm just checking in on it. You can see there's uh, 32 minutes. So for those maps, pretty much filling up that eTrex 20, I would say 40, 45 minutes is probably a safe bet. So let's check back in 33 minutes. All right, so it looks like the install is done. I'm gonna click done and we are done. So let's see uh, what it looks like on the device. All right, I've just sent it to my device and that's all wrapped. And the way I'm gonna confirm that it's in there is I'm gonna to go to setup, then I'm gonna to go to map, and then I'm gonna go down, 
I'm going to select map. Uh, and you can see this is all, these are all the maps that I have in here. I've disabled the Garmin Worldwide one. And these are the ones I had before. And there it is, South Atlantic. So that's the one we had in there. Uh, we can go back, and just to give you an idea of the detail level that you get on these maps. It's pretty good. Trails, street names, obviously much better than the default Garmin map. So that's it. So uh, good luck with it, and uh, I'll see you on the trails.